Hello viewers, on this tutorial we are going to be learning how to crop an image, how to remove the background of an image using Corel Draw. We are going to be taking it step by step. Let's get to it. This is an image I downloaded that we are going to be using as an example. So let's simply get started. Click on Corel Draw. This is Corel Draw environment. Now let's create a new file. Click on File, New. Name the file. Let's say we crop it. Leave the size on A4. Set the page orientation to landscape, and then simply click on OK. Now that image I just showed you, I want to import it into Corel Draw environment before I begin with the cropping. So I'll simply click on File, Import and then search for the image this is the image right here and i'll click on import as usual and then simply place it on the screen then expand the image from the edges expand it from the top and then expand the sides yeah make sure it is well fitted into the middle of the screen now the next thing is to show you the tools that we use for cropping image on Corel Draw. The one of the tools that I normally use is a is a sub tool of this particular tool here, freehand tools. So in order for you to get access to those tools, you click on this dotted sign to bring out the sub tools of freehand tool. Now, these are the basic ones I use. I use pen tool and busier tool for cropping. Anyone that serves you better, you can also use it. So, this is my favorite pen tool. So, what I'll simply do is to use my zoom tool to zoom in. Click on zoom tool to zoom in first. Now, if I'm going to start my cropping from this point, I should have it at the back of my mind that I'm going to also end that cropping at that same point I started it from. It should always be at the back of your mind before you start cropping any image. So, simply click on our pen tool and then we get started click on this point trace it step by step trace the image step by step don't rush it use zoom tool to zoom in at some point so that you can get a clearer view of what you are actually doing it let your zoom tool again zoom out and then zoom in to the new portion that you are cropping then select your zoom tool again and continue select your pen tool again and continue sorry so this is it this is it I don't have to trace it quickly. Yeah. Click on zoom tool again, zoom out. Yeah, then zoom into the new area and crop it. Go back to your pen to select. Gradually, gradually. get to the point where you started from and that will mark the end of the tracing Scroll to the side horizontally and then crop 
Continue with the tracing. Continue with the tracing. Tracing. That we all want to get at the end of the day. So this is it. I'm making progress. Making progress. See, we are getting closer to where we started from. Yeah. Then click on this node. Yes, we are done tracing it. So we we'll zoom out. We we'll use the zoom tool to zoom out to actually see what we've done. Yeah, this is it. To be sure that you actually clicked on the node where you started from the right way, you click on fill. You can see that this sh the shape we traced has been filled with color that shows you that you have actually done the right thing so if it doesn't show you the damage you did not um you did not click on that point where you started from so then the next thing is to what simply um zoom out and see everything properly then now we say we want to remove the background right so we simply click on the background click on effect click on power clip place inside frame now this tracing we did is the frame we are placing it into so we we'll click on the on it so and then we we'll right click on this same frame and then select edit power clip when that is done we we'll simply adjust it the image so that it can fit into this frame we've traced once we are satisfied with the fact that it has been properly fitted in then we stop editing then the next thing we'll do is simply remove the outline so that everything can look natural then we we'll zoom in to see the edges anywhere that we feel is rough we can easily correct that with shape 2 anywhere we feel is looking rough we can correct that with shape 2 yeah. convert it to color especially now that if you look at this hagili it looks you know curved so we should also get that curve right at this point needs adjustment too so we'll highlight the point that needs adjustment let's just convert it to straight line yeah. and then adjust it a bit yeah even this point too needs adjustment we'll highlight it just simply make it a line no sorry great Remove all the point here so we'll create a new point on this area so that it can hold the curve. Then we will now delete this point out. We will adjust it. Let's see. Yeah, it's properly adjusted now. Look at this side also. Make all the necessary adjustments. 
uh, we need to make to the picture so that um, it can look real as real as it should yeah. so we'll still create a point here so that it can hold the line properly so at this point we also highlight it and then convert it to curve because it's looking curvish and then remove the points so that we can adjust it either inwardly or outwardly so I'm using shape to now to make correction on the rough edges so that I can get a clean masterpiece at the end so I'll do the same for here because every portion that looks rough is actually meant to be looking curvish so we have to correct all those rough edges make them look curvish because it's circular in nature so everything has to look you know better than it is right now so let's zoom out and get the overview yeah i think the top needs a bit of adjustment yeah simply do that more or less like a shadow it can easily go unnoticed compared to the obvious ones that we re removed earlier so we are still going to remove it because we are professionals at what we do <laughs> so let's create a node at this point to hold this line for us to remove this particular one so I think um, it's cool now so we we'll simply zoom out to page <sighs> yeah, sorry to fit let's get a full preview of what we just cropped so this is simply how to crop an image <laughs> 